So guys, it's Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors, and you're probably wondering what is this you've got on your hand, Ken? Well, it's a bit of it's a bit of um, doormat. Two pound from B and Q, uh, Home Depot, uh, in the US. But this is going to become a field. Um, as you can see, there's nice little grooves already in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how to make this into a field. Um, really straightforward. Um, paint it and put some flock on it basically and make it look nice but let's see how we can get this and see how it looks at the end so come on then let's get over to the table get cracking on all right guys it's uh, ken from miniature wargaming warriors and um yeah we're going to go through how to turn a doormat <laughs> which was two pound from b&q into some fields for tabletop wargaming i'm going to be we're going to be using them for bolt action you could use these for anything saga kings of war if you wanted to really medieval you know roman uh, hell season all that sort of jazz but uh yeah basically it's quite it's a nice thin um doormat it's the cheapest one being key it's two pound you can't miss it um all i used to cut it is a hobby knife i literally just scour it down um not much pressure if you've got a decent blade um these this hobby knife well this knife here was from in excess which is a shop in the uk like a Got every thin sort of shop, um, and these were this was a quid, so it's a pound. So it's not as cheap and cheerful when it comes with uh, spare blades, but it's got snap off blades, so that's what I used to cut it. Uh, I'm a tribe made some sort of corner in around it, I don't, it doesn't have to be neat. Um, but the first process is to paint this a brown, so just got some pre mixed stuff from Hobbycraft, again, a hobby shop in the UK, um, literally splattering a load in the thing. In the pot, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of PVA just to help seal it. Uh, show you. Probably about that much. So not a not a huge amount. Just give it a little stir. I'm not bothering to water it down. And I'm literally just getting a brush. Obviously made the area tidy because I don't want my missus going mad and just uh, yeah just giving it a, just giving it a paint nice and straightforward nice and easy just going along trying to get it in all the little cracks and re little recess bit there just want to give it some sort of mud effect just want to get rid of this uh, there's like a white sort of sheen coming through um, I just want it to be solid like brown or something dark brown <laughs> not trying to teach you to suck eggs or anything like that you know, this is just a guide to help new people into the hobby that are getting curious about doing train making You can see I'm not using a fancy brush, I'm just using a really cheap, cheap brush and just literally want to get it. All in there. Sure, we'll get the edges. All right. Okay, I'm nearly happy with this. Like I say, you want to make your work space, you know, when you're doing this, you're getting messy. Alright, okay. Top bit there. Okay, I'm happy with that now. So, it's literally like that. And there's the other one. So you can see this is a bit darker. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this dry um, while I do the others. Um, and then once it's dried, uh, we'll get some flock on it and uh, 
see how it looks, but it's near enough 50% of the way done anyway, so um, yeah. All right, guys, I'll speak to you in a minute. So guys, yeah, that's um, like with it blended and all that now. Um, I'm gonna put some PVA. You can use super glue or whatever you wanna use, but I'm gonna use some PVA. Um, just put a nice blob of that down because I'm gonna stick some clump foliage onto it. That can go there. What I tend to do, so it doesn't look out of place, it looks natural. Put some more PVA down. I'll get a different colour, so like I've got that lighter green, and I'll stick a little bit of dark green on the side there. And I'll just do that in random places on the on the field. The clump I'm using is, uh, you've got the Jarvis stuff, which is the light green, you've got Woodland Scenics. My favourite clump is the stuff that Luke APS does. That stuff is uh, awesome. It comes in little sheets. Uh, that's what on the gaming table, on the battle reports, um, if you've seen the custom gaming table we've made, that's what uh, the hedgerows are all made out of. Is the is clump foliage. It's very quick to work with, but unfortunately I've run out, so I am resorting back to older stock that I had on uh, that I had on hand. So yeah. You know, it's not going thick and thick with the PVA because I'm gonna seal this with PVA after as well, so that'll be the last step. Literally when we're finished in a second. Up to you. you don't have to stick the clump on if you don't really want to. I just like to because it adds a bit more to the uh, aesthetics. Get that in there like that. You get a tiny bit of the uh, get a tiny bit of the other type just there. Okay, and that is done. So that's what that looks like. I'm quite happy with it, literally taking me probably total time about the paint drying time, maybe 20 minutes work at most, um, paint drying time included, 40 minutes, um, but I've done one, two, three, four, five in total, um, so now I've got plenty of terrain and that probably cost in total about four quid, if material wise, about four pounds. Um, so it's about six dollars US in materials and I've got myself five fields now. Um, so yeah, the last thing to do is to seal it with some watered down PVA. So we shall get that and uh, you'll see that in a sec. Right guys, last thing I'm going to do is just going to seal this down with some watered down PVA, especially around the bushes. Just to make them go rock hard basically. Just seals the whole thing. Um, literally, you can't put enough on. Just make it nice and sodden. 
Yep, so that's that. Don't worry about all the bubbles forming there, that'll dry so it won't be a drama. Um, but yeah, so that's, that is literally the fields done. You know, a couple of quid, um, four quid for like five fields. Perfect, anyone can do it, straightforward. Well, just watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm gonna do more in the future. You know, the minute we're building the modular um, board for uh, the battle reports uh, for the Aus, uh, Aus Front campaign coming up. So yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of this sort of stuff on the channel as well. So if you like it, let me know in the comments below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get um, information when these videos are going live. Cheers.